Hello and welcome back to the Northern Forge. Today I'm going to be showing you how to forge a penannular brooch. I'll talk a little bit more about what exactly that is in a moment, but for now here's what we're going to need. I'm forging this brooch out of two pieces of quarter inch square bar. One's about six inches long, the other's only about two. I'm going to be using the hardy hole bending forks plus tongs and a hammer. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start by taking my square bar and forging it to round. To do this, I'll start by holding the steel on the diagonal and forging it until I have an octagon. And from that octagon, I forge each of the edges until I have 16 sides and then continuously rotate with lighter blows until it is nice and round. Once I have the whole bar forged to round, it's time to forge the tapers on the ends. Uh, I'll forge a square taper first and then repeat the same rounding process I did to the whole bar just to make the ends a uh, rounded taper as well. Now, with both ends tapered and rounded, I like to put a little scroll on the end. I'm just going to do this by hammering the end of that taper over the far edge of the anvil to let it curl around, then give it a few blows on top just to tighten up the curve a little bit. Now I'm going to use the tongs and the bending fork and the hardy hole to form the bar into most of a circle. This is actually where the penannular brooch gets its name. It's the Latin prefix pen, meaning almost, and the suffix annular, meaning circular. So the name literally translates to almost a circle. And after using the bending forks, I'm just going to use two sets of tongs, and then here in a second I'm going to use the horn of the anvil a little bit just to clean up and refine that shape into as circular as I can get it. Now that the outside ring of the brooch is forged, it's time to work on the pin. I'm going to take that smaller piece of quarter inch square bar and forge it down to a little under eighth of an inch on one end. Um, I'm going to forge down about three quarters of the bar. And then once I'm done with that, I'll round it. And then I'm going to use the remaining section that I was using to hold on to it. And I'm going to forge that out flat.
And this flat section on the end is what's going to wrap around the ring. So I'm going to prepare that by forging a little bit of a curve to it first. And then once I have that curve forged in there, I can put it on the ring and I will gently secure it onto the ring. I don't want it to be tight here, but I want it to hold secure enough that it can't fall off. It was a bit too tight, so it wasn't moving freely. So here I'm just using my scrolling tongs just to loosen up that pin a little bit. Now you can see that the pin can spin freely around the ring and it can be moved side to side. Uh, it is still a little bit stiff going side to side, but it'll loosen up with time and with it being used. And last, I just want to demonstrate how this brooch works. Uh, I'm going to use some rope here just so that it's a little easier for you to see how it's working. Um, you take the pin underneath, you stab uh, through the cloth, or in this case, I'm just going under the loop of rope. Then I will rotate the pin around the ring until it is no longer in that open section. And now you can see I can't pull that rope back out. And then when you want to take it off, you just rotate that pin back around to the open section and then it will fall through and you can slide it back out of your cloth or in this case the rope. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe to see more, and leave a comment with what you'd like to see me show you how to make next.